Because I know I know y'all want to see how I get my hot girl summer looks. I know y'all do. Hey curl friends, it's underscore sincerely Asia and I'm back at it again with another video. Before you ask, this look is going to be going up this week, but that's not what we're here to talk about. I wanted to do a quick video on how I fix eyeshadows. I'm super clumsy. I'm always dropping stuff. My mom's always dropping my stuff. So I wanted to do a video on how I fix shattered eyeshadows, highlighters, foundations. And if you've been following for a minute, you know that this is the Glow Girl, Glow Girl Snatch Palette is one of my favorite palettes to use. I literally use it almost every single time I put makeup on. And she is as good as new. Like, beauty, y'all see that? She's gorgeous. Not only did I have one cracked eyeshadow in here, I had two. So, if you want to see how I fix them and I got my baby like fresh out the store new <laughs> just keep watching because I know I know y'all want to see how I get my hot girl summer looks I know y'all do this is right here I'll put the links below for it <laughs> all right curl friends so I'm showing you my broken baby you see her cracked at the top and first things first, you're going to need to grab some rubbing alcohol. And I had some on hand already. I poured in about 50-50 as far as my mixture. So 50% alcohol towards however much pigment I had in each little eyeshadow container. You want it to be like not chunky but still thick, if that makes sense, you know? I took a little spatula, but you can use anything. I saw people use like skewers, I saw popsicle sticks, you can use anything, but I had this on hand. It's one of those little, little spatulas you push, push back cuticles with, and it was perfect for my little space. So that's what I used. I mixed it up and then I patted it out and I just went back and forth with that process, mixing it up, patting it out, cleaned off the spatula. Now I went through and I'm ready for my second shadow. So as you see, adding more alcohol, you gotta have that 50% ratio. You have to make sure that it's movable because in order to reform the shadow, you can't have any chunks or the powder, whatever you're doing. You can't have any chunks in it or it's not gonna lay flat in the process that we're gonna do later on. So from what I gathered, if you're not really into the aesthetic and the look of a new palette and it just doesn't matter if you just want to make it usable, you can stop after this. You can just make sure everything's nice and inside, clean up around the palette and let it dry for like 24 hours and you'll be good. I mean, it won't be beautiful, but you'll be good. I myself wanted a new look, like the fresh out the store look, so I kept going with my process. For this next step, you're going to need a round surface, preferably um, the same shape as whatever palette you're using, just a flat surface. 
You can do the square if you have a square palette or a rectangle, but I had a round obviously, so I used round. You're going to use a piece, piece of plastic. You can use saran wrap. I used a sandwich bag. And so you're gonna take that round surface and press it in to your pan. This is going to reinstate that smooth surface at the top and push everything firmly inside of the pan. There you go. It's like new. It is so cool to me. I did it on both sides, of course. And then I just let it sit for about two minutes. I cleaned up around it before I moved on to the next step. For this next part, you're going to need a cotton towel, some sort of cotton towelette or a paper towel. Just keep in mind if it has ridges, it will leave that marking inside your palette. You're gonna take that same round surface and just follow those same steps from earlier. Pressing it in firmly. You're not gonna hurt the shadow. You're not gonna get any fallout. See, you get like none. That's the alcohol merging your shadow back together. I did that for both the shadows. I took that time to clean up around my palette. I want it to look good as new. So we've almost made it to the finish line you guys. We're basically finished with any of the cleanup or any of that process. The palette's done. You're just going to let it sit for about 15 minutes. I went back and checked it a couple times but other than that we are done. After that you're able to move the palette around. Nothing's going to fall out and it is beautiful. As good as new. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all see how I got this together? Did y'all believe in me? Did y'all believe that I was gonna make black girl magic happen? Because I believed, okay? If you would like to see how I got this look, it's gonna be in the next video. It's my next upload. And, and I'll link the links to get this palette down below. It's one of my absolute favorites. I love it so much. See y'all in the next one.